Hey everyone, Uncle Just here. Inside this box is the Elku Saturn II. It's an 8K resolution resin 3D printer from the folks over at Elgu. And today we're gonna be getting this unboxed, set up, and getting our very first 3D prints up and running on it. Oh, and if you wanna win one of these for yourself, make sure to stick around to later in the video where I've got some details on an upcoming live stream that you won't wanna miss. Let me just say right off the bat, the Elgu Saturn II is so impressive. I'm getting some crazy nice prints that we're gonna be checking out in today's video. This thing is sporting an 8K resolution screen and I honestly can tell the difference in these prints. I'm not seeing any layer lines at this point. I'm pretty sure I'd have to bust out a microscope or one of those digital microscopes to even be able to see them. Nothing visible here at 0.05 millimeter layer height on anything that I've printed in today's video. The first thing you're gonna notice is that it definitely has a distinctive look to it compared to the Elgu Saturn or the Saturn S with this new sharper design here straight out of Tron. The display case here, this acrylic case on the back also has an exhaust port, which is really cool to see. So you should be able to remove this acrylic panel. And if you wanted to hook up some sort of an exhaust port to the back of it, you'd be able to do that. Not only does the Saturn II have a different design to it and sporting that 8K display, but it also has a larger build volume of 219 by 123 by 250 millimeters. So this is a good bit larger than your standard Elgu Saturn and slightly larger than the Elgu Saturn S. By the way, if you're interested in the unboxing and full setup of the Saturn II, I'll have that here at the end of the video. They've also modified the build plate. The handle itself has been modified, or the top, I should say, the bolt here is super sized and so easy to work with now. Not that the original was harder to work with, but I like this much larger, squarer design. The build plate is significantly larger for the added build volume of the printer here. And the printer still has those dual linear rails to help the build plate move up and down smoothly while it's printing. And it's still sporting the same VAT design that we've seen on the previous iterations of the Elgu Saturn, where it's held in by two bolts on each side of the vat, and it still has the bolts on the bottom of the vat to help protect the FEP sheet when you set your vat on a tabletop surface. You'll also notice that they've included the USB port here in the back of the machine so that you can plug in the air purifier unit here directly into the printer while it's printing, which will help minimize those fumes that come from any of the resins that you're working with. It also comes with a beefy power brick that's gonna help supply the power to the printer, and by the way, the power port is on the back of the unit here, right in the center. There's also a panel that can be easily removed to get access to the control board back there. Or if you wanted to plug in a resin lapse cable to create your own time lapses of your 3D prints, you can easily access the cable and put it back there. The files that you wanna print are gonna be sliced and placed on a USB drive, similar to all the other Elgu printers, and you can insert it on the back side of the printer. To power on the machine, you're gonna press the power button on the very front of the unit. It's got a nice click button display. Display. You've got the nice color display here, and it's a very similar setup and display to the other Elgu products here when it comes to working with them. You've got a tools option, which will allow you to level, run your exposure tests, your tank clean, or just level the bed. You've got your system information here, as well as accessing your print files that you might wanna run off and 3D print. So it's not only a larger build volume and that 8K display that's changed with the unit. We now also have a built-in screen protector based on all the different user feedback that's out there. There's now a piece of tempered glass sitting on top of that new screen. And I've got to bust out my notes here, but it is a 9H tempered glass screen protector, which is not only hard, but also durable, so that if you end up spilling resin on this, it'll be much easier to clean clean off as well as replace if you ever need to without actually damaging the screen. So you're gonna only be looking at potentially replacing a piece of tempered glass here, not the full screen component. And they've also got a new light source built into the machine. They have a new FCLS display, which again, I'm not the most technical person in the world. So I'm gonna let this little note here speak for itself. It's a Fresnel calaminating, calamity, calamity? I'm not sure what that word is, light source. <laughs> 
that Elgu has developed and patented that is going into this machine. It's basically made of some optical grade material that's gonna make sure that the light source is more evenly distributed across the entire screen, providing you with the most clear and detailed prints that you can get off of any machine. And that 8K 10 inch screen was developed in partnership with a company called Inlux, which was founded by Foxconn, which if you use an iPhone like myself, you should probably be familiar with, with the type of displays that they create. Now, obviously one of the most important things are the prints that you're gonna be able to get off of the printer. And I'm happy to say this machine is delivering in full. It's providing some ridiculously great looking 3D prints. So let's take a look at them. The very first thing that I went off and printed were some bust Vifotis Mint from Lord of the Rings. These took four hours and 50 minutes to print here. I was using the basic Elgu gray resin, which I've used for most of the prints here on the printer, printed at 0.05 millimeter layer height. I've had zero print failures so far with this machine and knock on wood, we can keep that up. And the detail that I'm getting off of these prints is just a little bit ridiculous. I honestly can't see layer lines whatsoever with my naked eye. I'm sure if I had a digital microscope and went in on there, I might be able to see them, but so far, amazing. And I know a handful of you out there are interested in printing miniatures on your Saturns. So here are a handful of miniatures that I printed from Loot Studios at 32 millimeter scale. Again, details look incredible on these. Now, obviously my cleanup skills could use a little work on these, but I also printed one of the files at a larger scale, they're 75 millimeter scale. And again, the details on this are crisp and clear. And on that same build plate with all those Loot Studio miniatures, I also printed Photos Mint's latest Lord of the Rings bust, which is the King of the Dead here. And this one, honestly might be one of my favorite 3D prints ever. The details on this are just incredible. So crisp and clear. I honestly, I'm thinking about printing this larger at max build volume on the printer and then running off and attempting to paint this. Also, I'm a pretty big Lord of the Rings fan. So uh, printing these three files was a no brainer for me. Now here's where things get really strange. I printed this multi-piece Doctor Strange bus by Wexter here on the Saturn II in a mixture of some leftover resin that I had. I believe this was Elgu gray resin that I tinted purple, as well as some translucent resin that I tinted orange with a little bit of alcohol ink. I just can't get over the details of how well this machine is printing pretty much right out of the box without me having to do much tweaking whatsoever to the provided profile settings. I did speed things up a bit and modified the exposure settings slightly. I still need to go back through and do a full set of calibration tests, but I will be sharing those once I have everything dialed in with my Patreon supporters. This bust though is so friggin' cool. There's so many crazy details on this and the base might be one of the coolest looking statue bases that I've ever seen. And Check this out. This is a statue print of Wolverine from Sanix. And again, details on this are ridiculous. Even though the build volume is enormous on this machine, it took two different prints for me to be able to fully print everything. In that you're seeing here, but it is a really nice large display piece printed at the default scale here that was provided for that statue, all printed directly with Elgu gray resin at 0.05 millimeter layer height on the Saturn II and it's just over 11 inches tall. Now this is a sponsored video from Elgu, so I did wanna take a moment to say thank you to Elgu for sponsoring today's video and sending along the Elgu Saturn II for me to unbox and share with you all here in today's video. Again, this is not a review since it's a sponsored video, but I am seeing some ridiculously good prints off of this machine and hands down, this honestly might be the best Elgu printer that I've ever had the chance to work with. So far, the Elgu Mars 3 has been my absolute favorite. It's just my day-to-day -day working machine. But this one right here, oh man, the prints that I'm getting off of this are just crazy good. Crazy good to anything else that I've had a chance to 3D print. Now, if you're wondering, Uncle Jesse, what's the price of the machine? Well, I don't know at the time of recording this, but Elgu will be making their full announcement for the machine and go live date here in the next few days should hopefully be either today, tomorrow, or the next day here, <laughs> fingers crossed. They'll be providing more information on the exact pricing and when you'll be able to get your hands 
on the unit. And I can say for sure, if you're into resin 3D printing, you're probably gonna want to get your hands on this machine. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you are interested in winning, that's right, winning an Elgu Saturn II along with potentially winning a handful of other goodies, I'm gonna be doing a live stream this upcoming Saturday, the 28th at 9 a.m. Eastern New York time, where I'll be giving away a handful of items that Elgu's gonna be providing. That's right, you'll have a chance to win your own Elgu Saturn II, and I'll be giving away some other newly announced or not even announced things just yet. So very, very excited for that. I'll also be doing a live stream, uh, unboxing and printing with the Saturn II as well. How often do I stream? Not very often. Is it probably gonna be an absolute disaster of a live stream? I I'm sure it will be, but it'll be a lot of fun regardless. And we'll see some really cool things on the live stream, fingers crossed, and some good prints up and running on the Saturn II. I also want to say a big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters for your continued support. I'm actively working on further testing my settings here on the Saturn II, and once I have those available, I'll be sharing those with my Patreon supporters. And if you're interested in my other resin 3D printing settings, you can find those in my Patreon. So if you're interested in more information on the Elgu Saturn II, I'll have links to that down below. Plus, if you're interested in watching the full unboxing and getting my initial prints up and running, I'll be starting that right now. Hey, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. I know. All right, so in typical fashion here, we are gonna be unboxing this, I believe at the end of the video. We'll see how this goes. But if you're watching this, thanks for sticking around and watching the full uh, video there. Appreciate that. Ooh, what is this? I've got a power line, an Elgu power line box. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's just the uh, power supply. <laughs> Nice. As usual, Elgu does a pretty bang up job with their packaging of their printers to make sure that they arrive nice and secure for you. No beating around it, there's the printer itself. Nicely padded inside this big old box here. So, this is gonna be, I'm very excited to get this thing opened up and uh, check it out. Very excited about the 8K and a larger build volume than the standard Saturn. This should be a really good option for anyone out there. Uh, that's wanting a bigger resin 3D printer that can print at really fine details. Well, fingers crossed at least. As is with most resin 3D printers these days, uh, the manufacturers manage to pack in basically everything inside of the build volume of the printer, which really helps contain the packaging size for everything that needs to come. So you're gonna have a toolkit box that should have basically all of our main supplies here. Yep, so here's a pair of flush cutters, our USB stick, gloves, Allen wrenches, all sort of the standard thing there. We've got our power supply, plastic spatula, metal spatula. So you should hopefully, if you have a number of resin 3 printers, have a collection of those going. You've got some filters to get you started. You've got a face mask. We've got a, a quick start guide or manual here. And we have our USB powered air purifier here. So this is great. So very similar to the Jupiter, this is gonna be baked in directly into the printer so you can just plug it in and have it running. You don't have to worry about buying these separately and charging them. It's just gonna automatically run off of the printer when the printer's powered on and plugged in. Oh, this is a big chonker of a build plate here. So slightly larger build plate than your standard Elgu Saturn. Look at this massive, <laughs> spinning top there to bolt this thing down. I also love that it's using a much larger Allen wrench uh, or the bolts here for the tightening process. Yeah, this is probably your leveling card or just your, yeah, your leveling instruction card. So it's gonna give you all the information on how to level uh, your printer here and get it up and running all directly on this thicker card stock. I'm really loving the front facing design of this. It reminds me of something that is out of Tron. It's very, very different. And uh, look at that nice big push button on the front there for the power. That should be fun. USB port here is on the back left side. There is the power supply is gonna go right in the back center there. Uh, also some nice bolts on the back there that I should be able to remove to get a resin lapse cable installed. You know, that's always a priority for me here. And yeah, let's get this thing powered on and leveled and get a print fired up. 